Well, just moments ago, President Biden delivered opening remarks at the 75th NATO summit. The world is watching every day to see what happens with his campaign and whether he continues to con gain support and keep that support from congressional leaders in his own party. Fox's Connor Hansen reports from Washington. It's another high stakes test for President Joe Biden under constant scrutiny since his concerning debate performance against former President Trump. This time he's hosting the leaders of other NATO countries at a summit in Washington. That were ready, that were willing, were able to deter aggression and defend every inch of NATO territory across every domain, land, air, sea, cyber and space. The Biden administration is hoping to reassure allies the president is healthy and isn't going anywhere. I'm not aware of anyone raising concerns with the secretary or anyone else from the State Department uh, about, the about the president. Uh, the 75th anniversary of NATO here, uh, all of our guests from around the world. What we're projecting from the White House is not strength right now at a very dangerous time around the world. Ukraine will likely be a top issue at the summit. Democrats argue former President Trump won't be as supportive as he has been critical of NATO in the past. We in the Senate will send President Zelensky and our NATO allies the same message we have shared from day one. America will never turn its back on you. The same cannot be said for Donald Trump. Heading into the summit, Biden officials still facing a barrage of questions. If the national security team needs to get to the president, they get to the president. And it doesn't matter what the hour on the clock says. Um, he's always there. He's always available. Uh, and they have ready access to him. At the end of the NATO summit later this week, President Biden will hold a rare and highly anticipated press conference, taking questions directly from reporters. In New York, Connor Hansen, Fox 4 News.